Celebrate Freedom Foundation, a nonprofit educational and historical 501c3 corporation, was created to further education efforts as well as to honor past aviation pioneers and inspire future space and aviation pioneers. CFF has always focused on education with a STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics, education outreach program primarily directed to K-12 students. CFF continues to work with STEM education, and there's more opportunity to help now than ever before. South Carolina is transforming into a hub for global aerospace and automotive manufacturing companies and their suppliers. There is a growing need for a STEM literate workforce, making it critical that our schools prepare students for these types of jobs and ensuring that they can compete with a competitive national and global workforce. This is Wright Vernon with Lost in the Midlands, brought to you by Midlands Dumpster Services and Sea Wright Roofing. And today I am here for round two with a good friend who is a BNI leader, philanthropist, um, and really the heart of Celebrate Freedom Foundation. That's what we all say, at least. <laughs> and I wanted to have you on and catch up about all the awesome stuff that is going on at the airport, basically, <laughs> at the hangar. So um, thanks for coming on today. Thank you. And that mission statement, it, it really does um, sum up. There's just so many cool things you guys do. It's almost hard to sum everything up. You got the helicopters, you got yeah. the kids, the education. You're going out to different schools. And I know that all of that stuff is ramped back up. Um so please tell me, how has it been since you guys like opened the gates back up? Well, um, 2023 has been amazing for Celebrate Freedom Foundation. Yeah, um, We have started new partnerships cool. and um, working with other nonprofits as well. But um, one of our um, groups that we have started working with is Richland One School District. Um, and we have spread our wings a little bit even farther um, through the southeast. Yeah. So South Carolina, North Carolina, Georgia, oh, wow. um, to bring our STEM education program to schools. And now we are in the 2024, we are opening up to the Virginia area schools as well. You guys really are. I mean, when you say outreach, you guys are getting out there going yes. far. Yes, <laughs> we have. Um, we have so many um, veterans yeah. who um, are willing and wanting to give back to the next generation. Yeah. So I have Army, Navy, Marines, Air Force, Coast Guards, all of these different branches of services. And so they are working with us, volunteering with us, yeah. um, going to schools and talking um, firsthand with um, our elementary schools, middle schools, and high schools. Yeah. So um, bringing awareness of our STEM programs. And it doesn't, you know, it kind of helps us when we have a 1980s <laughs> Cobra helicopter flying into the football fields and landing and says, okay, what do you want to do? Yeah. Um, but we talk about careers. So we talk about jobs, on job trainings, um, tech schools, yeah. um, everything, and bring more awareness to the students itself. Yeah, so people who are, you know, putting their dreams together, these mm -hmm. kids, you guys can really help guide them. You get, you know, almost, you know, somebody who's been there, done that can say, hey, look, this is a real pathway to success. Yeah. Um, one of my veterans um, is a Marine, and you know how our military do not talk about their past. Yeah. Um, and when he first started with us, he was very closed off, like a lot of them were. Yeah. But now he sees his story is helping other students, helping other veterans. Um, when you have a veteran who had PTSD or still has PTSD, but aware... Um, is opening it up to tell their his story. Yeah. Um, it actually releases stuff from him and gives him peace as, as well. And when I say just males, it's not just males. I have females. I have um, I have husbands and wives that come in and volunteer. Yeah. Um, 
and Celebrate Freedom is not just for our veterans, but it's also for their spouses yeah. that can come in, their grandkids can come in, um, spend time. Um, we also have opened our doors to homeschoolers. Yeah. And um, they've been working on the aircrafts side by side with our veterans. This is Wright Brennan, the owner of Sea Wright Roofing. When it comes to the maintenance of your roof, you want to know that you have an experienced team that knows what they're doing. And with 10 years in the business, we check all the boxes. Leaky roof, storm damage, or just overdue on maintenance, give us a call at 803-828-4181 for a free estimate. Again, that's 803-828-4181. And remember, our commitment is to roof it the right way. Well, that is that is really um, something you have homeschoolers come and work in. And they, they are the ones who, they're like, hey, do we get to go to the hangar this week? <laughs> yes, you get to come to the hangar. Hey, Miss Lori, you know, kind of thing. Yeah. What are we doing today? Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, and there's so multiple elements of the, you know, the benefit you guys bring to the community. You're just mm -hmm. talking about how not only is this a place for education, guidance, mentorship, but it's a place for healing. Yes. You know, people get to come and, and they get to heal from, you know, whatever traumatic event or whatever it is they went through. So. It's the, for a veteran, um, you have key things, you have triggers, you have the, some who brings peace to them is maybe a touch, a sight, um, or even just a certain smell. Yeah. Um, if you walk into the hangar and you see, um, you see a Cobra helicopter, something that you've worked on in Afghanistan or in Iraq or Desert Storm or even Vietnam, yeah. um, and it brings that back. It you touch it, you feel it, and it gives you somewhat peace. Saying, "Okay, everything I fought for, everything I did, there was a reason. There was a purpose. There was always a reason and purpose for everything that you go through." Yeah, yeah. Tell me how the the kids who are introduced into it. Do, I mean, tell me, how, do you guys are y'all able to kind of build like a, a longer relationship with these kids? I mean, it's where they can engage and. Yes. Um, what we just started with the Richland One School, um, we have started a aerospace program with them um, the next four years. So um, starting from kindergarten, working all the way up through graduation. Um, and there's three schools involved in the Richland area yeah. um, who is partnering with us. So they will come. We Well, we will go to them. Yeah. They will come to the hangar. They will be able to do um, hands-on activities, um, do classes at the hangar as well. Um, this was a um, a partnership with Richland One um, for their aerospace. So I know you'll have that classroom mm -hmm. setting at the hangar. Who's who's running these classes? Are you doing it? Uh, <laughs> some, 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 but not much. Um, I know you're in there a little bit. I'm just in a little bit there, yeah. but a lot of them is our veterans. Yeah, okay. um, our veterans who are pilots who are talking about flying. Yeah. Um, our drone pilots who have got their FAA 107 um, certifications, they're talking about it. Um, I had one, um, one Marine who has gone through um, aviation school, yeah. um, crew chief schools, um, and they talk firsthand, okay, this is what I'm doing. Yeah. And this is how you're going to get from here to here. Yeah. Um, even Jack Love Lady, our president, um, has hands on. Um, they will pull out old type maps and pull them out and says, okay, if you need to get here to here, how are you? Um, what are you going to do? Yeah. So it's all hands on with our veterans. And once again, it's our veterans who are asking to, OK, let's see what we can do with you. Yeah. You know, um, opening up the eyes saying, all right, you don't have to go to a four year college. You can do on um, on job training. Yeah. You can do a tech school. Um, there are so many needs for techs. Um, well, one of my things that um, I always talk to the kids about is um, refueling aircrafts. Hmm. Um, you wouldn't think that's a really good job. <laughs> that was a great you job, know, eh? You know, but it is a wonderful <laughs> job. You can start off at $45,000 putting fuel in an aircraft. Okay, yeah. And now, is that one of the first jobs that you would ever think about? No, because everybody wants to be a pilot. Yeah. 
But then if you get your tech school, then you can continue to get up more and more. Yeah. Um, the more certificates you get, the more knowledge you get, that's where you're going to start making your revenue. So do you have relationships with local tech schools? I mean, are there... We do. So um, so who would be, like, which one, like Midlands Tech? Midlands Tech. Cool. Um, yeah, we have a lot... Um, a lot of our Kate schools that we work with as well, which is still in high school, but yeah. that is Kate schools. Um, Midlands Tech, um, we talk with them a lot as well, especially with them being right across the street from the um, hangar. <laughs> um, now, one of our pride and joys is us working with a lot of our American legions and um, VFWs um, of our veterans. And it has been a great honor for us to be able to help the Chesney American Legion post. Um, they had a Cobra helicopter and it got um, it got some damage to it and some wear and tear. Yeah. And they've reached out to us and we're like, we can fix that. We can we can work on that. And um, we partnered with the um, Kershaw Kate School um, up in Camden. Yeah. And um, this was this year. We had 25 kids. Um, we we got we went and got it from Chesney. Brought it down. Our veterans fixed it. But then we took it to Kershaw and got the kids to paint it and did all the sanding and bondoing <laughs> and everything. I mean, it's just crazy. And it's. It looks like it's a showroom piece again. Um, and we are so proud that we were able to par um, partner with them again to bring this one. Um, this is our third helicopter that they have worked with us on. Wow. And it's all the different um, the kids and the honor that the kids get, the respect that I, we, um, we were at R River Bluff High School. And one of the teacher, work study teachers, came out and said, hey, I painted that in 2015. <laughs> and all his kids goes, what? Yeah. They're like, yeah, I've known them, you know. <laughs> and we've had one that came up that was 2008. Um, and he's like, hey, I helped paint Annie, where's Annie at? Yeah, um, different helicopters. Yeah, different. Oh, they all. I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you. Annie, um, we have named all of our aircraft right, after right. women, um, and our women are um, are women who have made an impact um, into the military life, um, like Lena Horn. Um, she was such a strong woman who was during the USO entertainer of the um, Vietnam era. So because of her, where how she helped our veterans yeah. um, entertain them and everything, because she was with the USO, um, we named one of our aircraft after her. Oh, that's awesome. And um, that was our 2000, um, that was painted in 2015, and it's a 1967 um, AH-1F Cobra. Wow. Yeah. Very exciting. And it, to me, it sounds almost like you are also like the relationship manager. You got so many partnerships that's helping make this like a really well-connected network um, to, to bring all these resources together. I mean, Lori, you just, you got, you uh, got it. You I, <laughs> keep it up I with everybody. I cannot say that I do anything without a wonderful team. My team is amazing. Yeah. Um, and the, the, um, the partnerships that we have with local businesses are amazing. Um, anytime that I need anything or say, hey, can, can we get some pizza for the kids, uh, for the students, or yeah. can I get some pizza from them? They were like, I got you. You know, um, <laughs> our local sponsors, um, our local businesses have been amazing for us. Um, they're the ones who got us through COVID. Yeah. Um, when we had to shut down, you know, even though we were shut down, we still had bills. Yeah. And I'm proud to say we were still able to maintain our ability to help our veterans because that became, during COVID time, that became a point of um, where their spouses were calling us yeah. saying, hey, um, can you open up? My husband is about to get on my nerves <laughs> because that was when they started getting dark again. Yeah. They started going into their, their dark spaces yeah. and they needed to release their stress, um, re needed to open up to somebody and we would be there. I am not a therapist, but I will sit in there and listen. Yeah. Um, and one thing that um, 
all my veterans have said to me is, you know, we were always told, you know, to keep that upper lip, to keep that strong thing, um, to be, to be everything that you can be. Yeah. Um, but C CFF celebrate freedom, um, is that pr place where they can let their guard down yeah. and they can be who they want to be. Um, and we cut up, we laugh, um, but we know when to be serious. We know when to, um, just let it be. Um, and I will tell you in October, another one of my, um, I keep talking about my Marines, but because, but I, like I said, I have every branch, but October was the anniversary of the Bay Rate bombing. Yeah. Um, and one of my, one of my guys, um, was one of the survivors. Oh, wow. And he never talked about it. And then he became on to my um, STEM team and he started opening up and he started being more aware. Well, the Marines found out that he was in Col um, Columbia, South Carolina, and they started doing interviews. Um, he cried. Yeah. And he goes, that's not one of those things that I will do in front of people. So I know that this was a safe space. Mm. And I know that this is a place where I can, I'm not being judged. Yeah. And that's the whole thing. We don't judge people based on race, color. Um, we don't judge them based on their military branch. Yeah. Um, but they will pick on each other. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> you know, that was one thing. Um, and like I've said before in the past, um, I'm not military. Um, I am a military brat. Yeah. Um, and I do everything because of my father. I honor him. Yeah, yeah. He um, an amazing story there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's really special. Tell me how somebody can get involved. They can come and volunteer with us. Yeah. Um, and for those who can't don't have the time to volunteer, you can also you can donate even ten dollars a month. It yeah. still helps with us. We can also do um, if you have a um, a school yeah. that you would like for us to come to, we can we can come to your school. I just need to know what school you want us to come to. Um, <laughs> And we have a lot of sponsors that will be able to sponsor the schools or even half sponsor, you know, kind of thing. Because when we come to the schools, it's an all day field trip to the school Yeah. Um, from first period to the last period. And instead of having a select 20 kids, you can have the whole school come out at your school. And we would have the helicopter there. We would have drones there. We would have um, some of the other partners that we were talking about was like the Skiggy Airmen, yeah. um, the Buffalo Soldiers um, that we have talked about before. Um, they set up a table. You come and they talk to the kids because once this is awareness of the history and then aviation, careers, technology, once again, it's all this bundled together and our briefers are our veterans and first responders. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's awesome. What about some advice you can give somebody who is thinking about getting involved in um, the nonprofit space? Mm -hmm. I mean, you do so much in this the space in general. What, what advice can you give somebody who's interested in, in doing the type of work you do? Find out what's in your heart. I know that sounds very plain and simple, but you have to have it in your heart. Yeah. You've got to find your passion. You've got to find what you want to do because there is a lot of times when you're just like going, is it worth it? Is it, is it time just to go back to a nine to five job? Because you sometimes there is a paycheck. Sometimes they're not a paycheck. Yeah. Sometimes there is just um, the love of it. Yeah. And have patience. Um, find your circle. Yeah and know your mission. Okay, okay, that's fantastic. And where can we find you, like, if someone's looking for oh, you? If you're looking for me, I am at the Columbia <laughs> Metropolitan Airport. Um, you can go to our website as well. Yeah. Um, it's um, www.gocff.org um, or Facebook, um, Instagram, um, 
but we are right beside the U.S. Customs um, on the outside of the Air, um, Columbia Metropolitan Airport. Yeah. And um, it's 2533 Airport Boulevard in West Columbia. Our volunteer days are on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and usually we get there between 9 to um, 4 o'clock on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And if you are looking for homeschoolers as well to get some more involved in that, come on um, and call us, let us know. Um, our phone number is 803-822-8822. Eight eight two two. I had to remember awesome. Ooh, that's those long numbers, <laughs> but um, always just find us. Um, you can um, literally just Google yeah. um, Celebrate Freedom Foundation. Fantastic. Well, thanks for coming on today. Thanks for all the oh, hard work okay. you're doing in the community with the veterans, with the kids. It really is amazing in BNI. And I'm excited to see how you guys grow. Oh, yes. We, we've been around since 1999 and we're not going anywhere. Wow. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Hey everyone, many thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, give us a follow and click the bell to stay up to date on future episodes or click the link to watch another previous episode. Also, don't forget to like, share, and please leave us a comment. We'd love to hear your feedback.